I'm trying to show this to my fit. <laughs> 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 My name is Stormy the Fulf, and I love Lee, I love Treble, I mean, and I love all of you. And we're gonna finish fan mail number 14. But yeah, let's go back into the past. Seven days into the past, to be precise. Oh, dude, I remember meeting you at Megaplex. It may have been a completely random encounter, but it is among one of the happiest moments of my life. I cannot thank you enough for all your channel, vids, etc. have done for me. Keep making the awesome content and keep being you. Sincerely, Matthew H. P.S. This is just for you, Stormy. I am trying to become a patron, but I've got a lot on my plate. So I'll see what I can do. Um, you you officially became a patron like a month ago, I think? Uh, so yeah, some, some of this mail is from a month or two ago because, uh... It got to us. It did, it really did. And I really, really appreciate you supporting my channel. Hashtag Vape Nish. Dear Stormy and Treble, I hope you're both getting acquainted well with your new home. I have been a fan of your channel for just about a year now, and I absolutely love your videos. Alongside being chocked full of information and facts, they're also filled with hilarious antics that always manage to make me smile and laugh. Uh, and overall brighten up my days. Stormy, I got you another potato so that your potato's potato could have another potato and original Sonic the Hedgehog 2 in working condition. Treble, I know you love Twister as much as I do, so I got you some pins with quotes from the movie. Yes! Uh... You, you, you have made Treble very happy. Treble is a very big fan of Twister. I'm a very big fan of Sonic the Hedgehog. It's so hard to find merch for uh, Twister. And a piece of artwork to hang in your new home. Ah. They may not be much, but I hope these small gifts help to bring some happiness to you, just as your videos have brought happiness to me. I wish you both the absolute best getting settled in and with everything else you guys may have to tackle in life. And I hope to see you again at another con. Sincerely, Vape Lord. P.S. You're both amazing people and I love you both. Aww. Aww. We love you too. I, 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 I love you three. And I really, really appreciate you supporting me on Patreon. <laughs> yes. It's Bill and... It's Bill! It's Bill and I don't remember her name. Oh! Whoa! It's a Mega Drive copy of it! That is so cool! I have like the American version and this is uh... in French. I don't, I don't own any Mega Drive games, I only own the Sega Genesis games. So, either way, this is gonna make an awesome addition to my collection. Please don't eat me. Don't worry, I will never eat you. I've gotta take my paws off to read these. <laughs> Bless the trip. I'm gonna have to sanitize the inside of this later. For, for you guys who have watched Twister, you'll understand these references. We've got Wakita. The finger of God. It's the suck zone. Loser! Move on! Like, this is my favorite movie ever. Sweetie, I'm sure. How? I'm sure you're not the only one that hasn't see, has seen this movie. Rabbit is good, rabbit, rabbit is wise. wise. <laughs> we both watch this movie a lot. I know it word by word. Thank Lord, thank you so much for the awesome uh, potato in the Mega Drive Sonic 2. And, and thank you for the Twister merch. <gasps> and the letter and the photo you sent us. Oh, this one's kind of heavy. Let's see what lies within. It says, Dear Stormy, greetings from Canada. Canada is the friendliest country in the world. This is a proven scientific fact. I have been really excited to send this to you. I can't read. I apologize for <laughs> all the writing. Part two. What? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> I, can't read. I cannot read, okay? Read, I cannot. Or <laughs> read, you do not. It is unfortunately not within my ability to decipher the aforementioned text that I am holding. I apologize for all the writing that I sent you in my not so good handwriting. It, the lighting is like uh, shining through it, and I see the other side of the letter, and that makes it extra difficult, but I'm trying my best to read. I am Coco, a 16-year-old from Atlantic Canada, and I got thinking you have never had Canadian candy, so I sent some for you. 
The best kind, in my opinion. And I also drew some for you. I am sorry for the low quality. I'm still kind of new at it. Three years. I sent this to you guys for two different reasons. The first one is that you guys are so unbelievably cute. You never fail to make me smile. Aww. Very informative and hardly swear. Gosh darn it, Lee! I told you to pick up the beep, beep, beepity beep. Darn you. Heck. Heck! The second thing is that you have been helping me, helping with my anxiety because of something that happened in March. <clears throat> which that a lot of people started to not talk to me or I would do a mistake that felt like family to me, hate and leave me. I sincerely apologize if I'm misreading some of this, I am. I am 100% trying my best. <laughs> I, I remember, I can't read that well to start with, so <laughs> that's a really, really sucky situation to be in. I felt like that when I was younger, so I relate. I started to worry and get scared because I did not know how to act in the fandom. But then I found your channel and you have videos that explain stuff that I needed to know and how to act. Also, we're in the, s the screen. I, I, can, I, can, I can't read. <laughs> I needed to know and how to act. Also, when I was in the streets, you would respond and not judge, and that made Wednesdays the highlight of my week. Honestly, Stormy, thank you for being you. You are the best you you will ever be. Stay fabulous. Hope to see you one day. Sincerely, Coco. And that has their YouTube channel and their Twitter. They drew us some art, and it's also got a letter below it. You guys can see. Hello, Stormy and Treble. Not sure if Treble is there. Hi, I am here. I wanted trip. to thank you for reading this, and sorry if my art and printing is awful. I'm new to the art, but I would state everything I am thankful, but I don't want to sound whiny. Ah, you're not whiny. Being thankful for a lot of things. Awesome. There's one thing I want to say. I I'm really, really sorry that I couldn't read your letter that well, but Lee can read it just fine, so that tells me that's my fault. But I've been having a hard time because I am losing friends and being made fun of for being autistic. Do I need to kick some butt? And when people use the phrase, that's so autistic, I stand there and feel little having it as a curse. And you're so happy and accepting that I watch you has helped days, made me laugh, or just happy in general. Without you, I don't know where I would be because you have gifted me with all these smiles, laughter, and a woos. Oh! And you really know how to brighten me up, and this is my way of saying thank you. It also wanted to point out that I'm not sad because of those piranhas. I'm just sad because I was made fun of for it all the time and saying, and that just tops the cake. Thank you for everything. This is really sweet, wholesome, and precious. 10 out of 10. Don't feel like you're alone when it comes to being made fun of in school and with regards to autism. A lot of my best friends happen to be autistic, so. And I once had a doctor told me that I probably have autism to some degree, so. You know, you're not alone. We're not gonna sit here and say, hey, our story is worse than yours. We mm -hmm. just wanna lend an ear and a shoulder to cry on if you ever need one. That's... Because no one should have to be alone through that. Yes, I, I agree with this. Legalize the woo. Very important. Ooh, some more cute art that they sent us. Um, no, they're not. Tatoes are amazing. They're delicious. They are sacred. That's why I cannot eat them. Um, How do you know they're delicious? Well, it's easy. You know, I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll, 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 I'll never. I'll never do it again. I swear. Please, please don't. Please don't ban me. Just some more fan art. Oh, we've had one of these. Those are good. Someone gave us one of these at MFF, and they're delicious. I really appreciate the coffee crisp. Bar. Yum. It's a Mars bar. Never had one of these before. I'll have to do like an Australian slash Canadian food special video soon because I've got some Australian <laughs> snacks too that I want to try out. Is this like an aerial candy? Does that mean like if I throw it, it'll start flying into space or something? I'm confused. Oh, and it has cocoa in it. I'm confused. You see how these are called Smarties? Well, these are called Smarties in the United States. I'm so confused! Maynards? I've never heard of these. What are Maynards? These actually look really good. I'm interested in this. I love berry flavored candies. The original Oreo or Canadian Oreos. Um, 
I can almost guarantee you they have less sugar than the ones over here in the States, so they're probably healthier by default. Coco, thank you so much for the uh, letter and all the awesome fan art and all the awesome Canadian snack goodie thingies. It's a tired Treb, so Treb's gonna remove the... This one is from uh, Zapper Fox. Dear Stormy Fulf, do you want to send me mail? I can put my address if you do. So Stormy, how was your day? I've been great. So Stormy, do you got a Discord or something where we can DM each other? Because my phone let me down Telegram, so talk to you later, Stormy. Zapper Fox. P.S. Can you subscribe to me? I have 322 subs. Uh, Zephyr Fox, I think I already subscribed to you. With regards to Discord, I have one, but it's not public just, just yet. I get a lot of messages day and night. It just never stops. I'm trying to figure out how to better manage everything. But when it comes to sending a letter, I have to really give that some thought due to privacy reasons. You know, it's kind of like how people send me their phone numbers. That's generally a bad idea. You really shouldn't send your phone number to anyone unless you know them extremely well. And it's nothing personal or anything like that. It's just sending a letter back to you. It's not a the question, I just really have to give it some thought first. Okay, Zephyr Fox. Dear Stormy Wolf, so my girlfriend's fursona's name is Star, and Star is a wolf, and my fursona is a fox. So if they had a kid, it would be a wolf. So how have you been? <laughs> I've been good. Majira Strawberry, you, Telephone, Treble, Burton Fox, Ace, Squirrel? All furries inspire me a lot. Thank you so much. How I discovered the furry fandom was on YouTube. I seen a person with an animal costume, so I click on the video. I started to like it, and then I figured out a cool name, Sapper, and then my favorite animal is a fox, so yeah. I'm 15 years old, and my girlfriend is 14. I got some questions for you. Have you ever seen a ghost before, or something like that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, we both have. How did you in trouble this? How did you and Treble discover the... <laughs> oh, how did you and Treble... Sorry, the reason why I keep saying Treble is because it's written as Treble. It's Treble. T-R-E-B-L-E. A lot of people keep thinking we're saying Treble, which he is Treble. One thing I want to say, Treble is spelled T-R-E-B-L-E. -E. Several people like to spell Treble as Treble. Which, uh, you know, trouble is trouble sometimes, but, you know. Yeah. But you want to spell it as T-R-E-B-L-E. -E. That's a spelling lesson with Stormy the Wolf. How did you and Trouble discover the furry fandom? I, I used to make cosplay, and I came across a cosplay of a Lucario fursuit, and I was like, oh, that's cool. And I ended up looking through, deciding, you know, hey, this is pretty neat. This is not as weird as a lot of people said. Etc. 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 And now you can see I have like five fursuits. <laughs> so, uh, um, yeah. uh, I found out about the furry fandom through the art side, and that's apparently a common entryway for a lot of newcomers to the fandom. When I got into furry YouTube, I learned about that through uh, Barton Fox, Bakari Roo, and Majir Strawberry, and I pretty much got hooked afterwards. So. All right. It says, "Stormy in trouble. Are you good at art?" I would not consider myself good at art, but Lies. other people think I'm good at art. Guys. I'm highly, highly critical of my own art. Guys, guys, she's lying. What is your favorite furry YouTuber that you like to watch? Bakari. Bakari. Have you ever played Major and Minor? I haven't played it, but it is a uh, furry game on Steam. I haven't played it. If you're talking about musical terms, then yes, because I used to be a music major. But uh, yeah, Zephyr Fox, thank you so much for the awesome letter. And next we have a letter from Meds. Meds is a local fur. Yep. Mary Chrysler. Stormy, I'm delighted to see you. I can't read. I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Stormy, Stormy I'm, I'm delighted, delighted to see how successful you've you become, become on, on furry YouTube. YouTube. Here's wishes to you and Treble, a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Your great foxed friendo, Meds. Meds, Meds is really sweet. He's he, a sweetheart. He runs the biggest oh. furry group in the state of Mississippi. So if you're in Mississippi Anthropomorphics, the leader is Meds. Thank you so much for the Christmas card. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas and a wonderful New Year as well. Answer Rio Volt is wishing you a wonderful... <laughs> holiday season. Meow, de meow, 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 with lots of cuddles and relaxation. 
Yeah, me and Trouble need lots of cuddles and relaxation, so I, I agree Great. with the statement. <laughs> but it's a revolt! Thank you so much for the Christmas card! And I, I hope you had a wonderful Merry Christmas or a holiday, whatever you celebrate. If you don't celebrate Christmas, I still hope you had a wonderful Happy Holiday and New Year. Verb to read. Uh, uh, there. Weak. I managed. Shut up! <laughs> I have no more Dr. Pepper or root beer, so there's nothing to burp. Dear Stormy, the potato pizza fox mixed wolf. Hey there, how have you been? Pretty good. We, we, we moved like four months ago, and our Christmas and New Year's was pretty decent. It's pretty okay. I have moved into a new house with my fam, and it's a really big house. It's in a new county in Wisconsin with cheap taxes and some really cheap house bills, so I'm really grateful to my parents who brought us to that place. That sounds like y'all got it made. Um, lately I have been able to get more hours at my part-time job. You really got it made, don't you? <laughs> I also plan to be going to Anime Milwaukee 2019 this coming semester. I've never been to Anime Milwaukee. I've never been to Milwaukee in general. I've never been to that part of the United States. Someday though, someday I will go there. But how are you guys enjoying the new place? I love it very much. The neighborhood's really very quiet nice. and peaceful. Everyone minds their own business. I saw recently that you are going to MFF this year. I'm guessing this was from a while back because we did go to MFF in uh, uh, November slash December. Sadly, I wish that may be possible for me because of big things in the future. I do intend to do a homemade convention such as that one RikaCon video from Vix. Uh, other than that, I'm very excited that the holidays are rolling around the corner, so I too will be giving this season. So, to close this letter off, I have one of the following goods that I know you and Treble will truly enjoy. Stormy's homemade pizza recipe from Tasty. <laughs> a Carthage College map to find. A flyer to CarthageCon. A Ningajo card, including your sona for the year of the doggo. Christmas card for 2018, Anime Milwaukee 2018 flyer, February 15th through the 17th. So feel free to make a shout out to thank me for bringing you these goods and that you still inspired me in other furries with your floppy ears. Hope you make it and have fun at MFF this year and that I hope to look forward to talking with you again soon enough. Yours truly, Tino Husky Kun. Uh, this is obviously a letter from a few months ago because uh, he did go to MFF. It was a lot, a lot of fun. Um, it somehow managed to be even better than the year before. I don't know how, because my first MFF I still remember vividly, and this one I remember vividly as well. So, yeah, Tino Husky Cunt, thank you so much for the letter. We shall see all the things you enclosed. It is adorable! Ah! Why is your art always so friggin' adorable, Tino? Flyer for Anime Milwaukee. A recipe from Tasty, how to make the best homemade pizza. Is this one of your sonas? I, I want to make sure I credit you properly. I mean, it's really adorable. <sighs> May this holiday season be filled with laughter, joy, <sighs> and peace. Ding dong. Potatoes, pizza, floppy ears. Merry Christmas from Tino Husky Con. And it is a flyer for Carthage Con. Triple knows about Carthage really well, just not this Carthage. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's a bookmark with tails! It's really cute. You know, Husky Con, thank you so much for the awesome letter and the flyer and the adorable art and the bookmark. This one's got Stormy on the corner. Oh, that's really, really cute! I have teeth! I, I need more teethy, fangy art. I really do, I don't have enough of it. I have an awesome, adorable badge from Vaporwave Bat. Vaporwave Bat, thank you so much for the adorable badge. Dear Stormy, what's up my main dude? It's me, once again, Nitro the Fox. Well, er, Raccoon. But anyways, how was your Thanksgiving? Mine was just good, and now I'm waiting for the holidays to come, and for 2018 to come to an end. But here are a few questions. What was your favorite Christmas memory, and what is your favorite Christmas tradition? Anyways, that's all I wanted to say. Be your potato self and have a happy Christmas and a happy new year. From Nit uh, Nitro the Raccoon and family. P.S. I hope you were a good potato this year. I, I hope I was too. I mean, I hope I was last year because now it's 2019. Um, my favorite Christmas memory. Ooh, that's, a, that's actually a really tough one. It probably wasn't my favorite, but it's the only good one I can think of for the moment. When I was like six or seven years old. <laughs> uh, Excuse me. <laughs> 
When I was six or seven years old, um, back in the 90s, these little Power Wheels thingies were really popular, and I somehow got one for Christmas, and it was the coolest thing I had ever had as a kid, toy-wise, because it actually got me to go outside. <laughs> I would ride it in the backyard, I would like go and lapse over and over and over, and I somehow found that really entertaining and fun. I don't know if Power Wheels are still popular these days, but yeah! Now my favorite Christmas tradition, it used to be watching all the Christmas specials on TV, but now my favorite Christmas tradition is trying to decorate the tree with treble and watching us both get frustrated. <laughs> but thank you so much for the letter, Nitro! From a fan. Dear Stormy Fall, I'd just like to apologize for my handwriting first, as it is extremely scrawly. Actually, it's really pretty, and the problem is, um, it's so elegant, I'm actually having trouble reading it. <laughs> it's That's why like... I offer to read it, but he won't let me. Anyhow, your videos are super cute, and although I haven't been in the fandom long, I can tell I'll be watching for a while. I hope this is mail reaches you, and the pictures inside were drawn with love and care. Leo King. Leo King. Really, really, really cute. And this must be your Sona. And if it is, we're gonna hang it up. Leo King, thank you so much for the letter, and thank you so much for the fan art. And we got a letter from Joshua. Ow, 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 my leg! Hi Stormy, hi Trouble, hi Moana. I hope this two-page letter is enough for the love I have in my heart for you. I made this tale combine based of your fanatics for tales and lovely com commune. Oh, it's a commune. Commune from Doki Doki uh, Precure. You make me smile, laugh, and happy to myself. I have questions, and some require for you to do physically. Ready? Good. Can you burp on command? <coughs> if you can, show me you can burp my name five times. I am too afraid to do that. I don't want to vomit in my fursuit head. I can do it. Please don't- watch us do Why? I love you, but now I have competition. It says, I wanted to drop by and say, I hope you like my letter and my fan art. Make sure to check Twitter and Instagram. Oh, almost forgot. Hugs. Have fun at MFF. Love, Joshua. That's really cute. It's adorable. We have another letter. I want to read it. Let me read it, boy. You're tired. We should stop. Please. Tell Trevor to let me read it. Dear I can't Stormy. read. Dear Stormy Folk, it's the Zephyr Fox. I drove you some fan mail. Hope you love it. Looks good and cute. So, Stormy Folk, I am getting a partial fursuit. I hope you love... This art I drawed for you, it turned out good. I made a TikTok video of it, and my TikTok name is ZapperFox944, or 444. <coughs> and I have a PSN now. PS4. PS... PS4 now! Four. Shut up! <laughs> um, Gamertag is Pause. Killer 16. I have 322 subscribers and got any tips for a partial fursuit? Merry Christmas, Stormy Folk. Zapper Fox, when it comes to uh, getting partial fursuits, uh, you really want to take your time, and if you're a younger furry, I would strongly suggest you only get a mini partial because if you're still growing, your fursuit head's not going to grow with you. And when that happens, your fursuit won't fit you anymore. And then you got to get it retailored or remade, and then you got to wait, and then you got to spend more money with partial fursuits if you have an interest in suit making i would try to pursue that that way you have an idea on how things can be fixed as you learn more about fursuit making but there's there's too many variables for me to really answer that confidently when it comes to tips on partial fursuits because i don't know if you're trying to look for one to purchase i don't know if you're looking for a suit maker to make you one i don't know if you're looking to make one so um Please respond to me in the comments so I can answer you. Thank you so much for the letter. Um, okay, next one. I hate you. <laughs> this is supposed to be my video. And you're making fun of me. Oh. That reaction. And you're making fun of me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is some adorable art, Zapper Fox Baby. Thank you so much for the adorable fan art. Um, Does it say who it's from? I thought there were only seven Chaos Emeralds. Apparently there's eleven. I'm the protector of the Emeralds gems. It's actually your colors. <laughs> well, whoever sent us the Chaos Emeralds. Uh, thank you so much for Chaos Control. I will use the power of the Emeralds to determine who sent me these Emeralds because there was no name on the package, inside the package, so whoever sent me the Emeralds, thank you so much! Oh, look it! It's reflecting on the light. Yay, there you are! 
And this one is from Sucky Noob. Well, there's some sucks in here. Eh. Eh. Are you done? <laughs> there's a letter in here first. You sure you don't want me to read it? Trump's not letting me read anything today. Dear Stormy, what's up, blue boy? Things going well for you now? Hope the new house is good. I know you'll definitely be on a tight budget after that. Maybe things will actually end up saving money because you're in a better area now. Anyways, this is my first time writing you, and also the first time I've typed in an informal letter in years, and boy is it frustrating. <laughs> the desire to type this in 12 point font and know it in this, and so many colons is high with this one. Then again, you're a friend of mine, and no need to be all serious, right? I just wanted to formally thank you for all that you did at EFS this year. Not only were you the guest of honor, and a darn good one at that, but you were probably the only person at the entire con that completely understood the anxiety I was going through. It was my first furry convention, and at some point I was alone at one of the tables and nobody around, and instead of eating out with some friends, I decided to stick around. I was tearing up and my anxiety was turning into depression quickly. I'm so sorry. No. Out of nowhere, you came around the corner in suit and came to the table I was sitting at and asked if I was okay and gave me some advice and a hug. I have no idea if you read my tweets or you just so happened to walk out and see me crying a bit, but that made much better. At that moment, I realized you weren't just another friend, but a true best friend. All the times we talk were meaningful. Thank you so much, dude. With the emotional stuff out of the way, let's get to the elephant in the room. It's a well-known fact at this point that I make bad jokes a lot, and I tend to have inside jokes between friends. As mentioned earlier, you're most certainly somebody considered by me to be a friend, and not only that, but you just happen to be a popular for a YouTuber. So I'm going to take that opportunity right now to make something great. It says, I am Stormy the Fool, leader of the Ritz fandom. The Ritz <laughs> fandom is the greatest fandom of them all. All who watch this video must become a member. This box is not to eat. These rich boys are my friends. You will not eat my friends. You must become a Ritz cracker or else. Ritz crackers are not officially a part of the Stormy Universal canon. I am Stormy the Folk, and I approve this message. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. It's got pictures of him all over the box. I'm trying to look at the red box, and you're making this so difficult. Of course. Uh, I like Toyota and pizza. <laughs> Tuna and red potato. A whoa, what's <laughs> this? <laughs> and there's me right there. I'm trying to show this to my face. <laughs> Everyone gets a free Stormy. Um, two stormy. <laughs> one Stormy, two Stormy, three, three stormy, stormy, Four, four stormy, stormy, Five Stormy, Six Stormy. Oh, six Stormies. Five. <laughs> Select your Stormy. Saki Noob, thank you so much for the letter and the Ritz crackers. Okay, big box. Big box. I want to read. I want to read. I want to read. Please let me read. You've been reading the last two or three or seventy-five of them. Hello, Stormy in Trouble. I hope you both are doing well. I was so glad to hear that you were able to move to a safer and more quiet location. I wish I could have made it to MFF this year to meet you, but finances got in the way. Ah, so yeah, that. I relate. Um, I'm not gonna be able to attend as many cons this year, possibly MFF. You are one of my favorite furry YouTubers, and watching your videos actually helped me step out from the shadows and fully embrace being a furry. Oh, this is adorable. In the box are some things I have been accumulating for a while now. Some different Sonic things along with some treats. I have also put in two of my pins for my Persona pins for you and Trouble. The red bag in, in there is for Trouble. If I remember correctly, Trouble, you are a Legend of Zelda fan. This is true. I found this set at our local fall festival made by a local artist. I hope you like it. The cell phone holder is really convenient at events. I have a glow-in-the-dark haunted house theme one. Ooh. Well, I don't want to take up too much time, so I will say goodbye for now. But keep making that awesome content. P.S. From one fault to another, hashtag legalize a woo. Oh! Sincerely, Sither, a.k.a. Blue Alien Fox, you're one of my patrons! Blue Alien Fox, um, I really appreciate the letter, and I really appreciate your patronage on my Patreon. Thank you so much for being a patron of Patreon of Patreon. Um, I want you to look that way. Apparently, uh, 
if I if I if I look right away, the box will attack me. It's something baggy on my hands. Ah! Oh my God! Walmart doesn't have these. Walmart, if you're watching this, bring back Geo Pots. I love these things very, very much, in case you're wondering. Regular Cheetos kind of hurt my teeth, but these don't. So, yay! We have Sour Patch Candy Canes. I didn't know these were a thing. I wonder what they taste like. Persona Pin. It's really, really cute. I'm gonna put this on my pizza hat. This is a trouble thing. I can't really eat caramel, apple pop anything because of my teeth, but Treble really, really loves these. And you sit too. So, judging by that fact, uh, these will actually last maybe two or three days instead of five minutes. Um, <laughs> but she really does love caramel apple pop. I love anything caramel flavored. Ooh! I, I also didn't know these were a thing. It's really, really, really cool. And I can color it. I really can color it. This is what you will like because this thing is a miniature of something you already have. Mm -hmm. Another Tails. He... he has a massive one. You know, yeah, tall. This is like the smaller version of That's it. That's the smaller version. I knew he didn't have that one. Ooh, I have maybe one or two Metal Sonic figures. And now I have three. Blue Alien Fox. I really appreciate this. I have very few Metal Sonic collectibles. I have a lot of Tails collectibles, but not a lot of Sonic collectibles and not a lot of Metal Sonic collectibles. Though. Neat. Oh, now I have two of them. I actually have one of these. This is the other collectible I was telling you about. I have uh, one other Metal Sonic pin, so this is the second one. Ooh, it's, it's, like, it's like a little tiny... Little it's tiny. a handbag. I call it a tiny purse. Oh, this is a cell phone holder. I thought it was like a... Uh, I don't know why I was thinking a case, but I didn't think these existed. That's really cool. Oh, and I got a Persona pin too. And that's all the mail for fan mail number 14. And oh my god, y'all sent me so much. Also, I'm really sorry if I seem kind of unenthusiastic or tired. I'm just like, I'm tired. <laughs> I've been really, really busy the last seven days. So, yeah. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you want to send me anything, P.O. Box address is on the screen right now as Treble keeps throwing peanuts at me. If you ever want to send me anything, I'm, I'm welcome to it. Yeah. But if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Give it a like, subscribe if you haven't, keep an eye out for more furry advice content. I am getting back to that since the holidays are over. Uh. Share it with the other furry friendos, leave a comment, and so on. But yeah, Treble keeps throwing peanuts at me. So, I will see you all next time. Bye bye! <laughs>